I see that I have to uh, record again because somehow uh, the paperwork that was added to it got lost. You know, this has been the problem where this poor man, disabled, eight spinal cord surgeries, need surgeries on his knees, has been robbed through Social Security. Even the courts today are paying an attorney who was fired years ago for misrepresenting me. He did not inform me of the hearing that I wanted to testify at. That I did not receive payments from Liberty Mutual. And I guess the judge must have been in on it because uh, neither one looked out for me. Uh, Liberty Mutual somehow uh, magically showed canceled checks which is impossible because I hadn't received checks for, I believe it was uh, approximately two months. And it was that reason that attorney from uh, Popish, Reef, Passionate, uh, so forth and so on, was let go because I had traveled from Seattle to New York just to testify and my attorneys forgot to inform me of the hearing. Hmm. And they lost. Hmm. Because it was utterly impossible for the insurance company Liberty Mutual to show cancel checks. So I'm wondering what the judge and my attorneys agreed to, or who told them to agree to it. I hope I get an investigation, especially after today an advocate can tell me today is the 12th, when it, was the, when it is the 13th tried to tell me that my hearing is for tomorrow instead of today. Evidently, uh, since that advocate doesn't even know what day it is, they don't need to be working. And because of the actions of the judge to pay the, uh, the attorneys, when they had been informed many a times through certified mail return receipt that their services were no longer request, requested or needed because of their failure to properly represent me and inform me of said hearing. Now, that's either, uh, either gross negligence or a criminal act. Now, why the judge at the hearing, because I did inform the courts that I was flying from Seattle to New York just to be there and give testimony why he didn't demand from my attorneys my presence and why such a hearing occurred. I also demand a reimbursement of today's judgment because those attorneys don't deserve a penny. In fact, they should not be practicing law. And if my letter to uh, certain public officials uh, 
once they review it, they should be contacting me. Oh, by the way, uh, the night before my phone disappeared, and I had to make a police report, I also called that phone company to uh, turn off the phone. So I'm at the Spruce Motel in Tukwila, Washington. My post office box is 12585 Seattle, Washington, 98111. I need somebody to straighten out workers' compensation court because uh, after years of complaining about inadequate representation, at the very least, it adds insult to injury that the courts are paying those attorneys who should not be practicing law. And uh, if the court's representatives are going to give fortified information to this person, well, it just makes this person feel that uh, people at workers' compensation court, some, not all, have other uh, alliances or obligations to some illegal uh, organization to make false statements and to claim today is the 12th, it's not the 13th, you have the hearing tomorrow. Well, I didn't ignore the phone. I answered it. I had my say. I know the courts weren't happy with me. But that is not my problem. I am not happy with an incompetent, at the very least, attorneys who represented me falsely, who did not notify me, can't claim any monies, and it should not be left up to a judge so they can pay said attorney money for showing his butt up in a, what, thousand dollar suit nowadays? I wish I had a $200 suit, but I can't afford it because judges and workers' compensation pays attorneys fees that they have not earned. Under whose orders, I would like to know. That is why I have written certain people legal people who have legal powers to look into the matters I have written about. And if there's justice, they will contact me and things will be gone through. And, uh, I think some attorneys will be going to jail and disbarred. And there will probably be questions of that judge's decision all those years back. I thank you for your time, and I hope this time the writing stays with the video.